too thick. All right, close this one. Oh, I just did it. Let me show you what happened like that. Just need to get that little magnet, and it's gonna take all. Good. All done. Flip it over so people see. There you go. The magnets will take it. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll go ahead and decode the other one. Now we put the top coat on. We'll close this one. No wipe top coat. Hey, thank you, Eric. Coating on the top. How is that? The beads is coming over here. Got it? Give me that. No, oh, it's okay. Okay, good. It's floating on the top of the condensed wool gel. You don't want to drag it so hard. Then it's going to just contaminate your condensed wool gels. Doesn't look good. <laughs> I was I yeah. planned to put it on there. Well, that need a big stone. Small stone don't work. Well, kind of work. I might need a bigger stone. Mm -hmm. Move that a little bit, and that. Good. Mm -hmm. I think it was that's it. Yeah, I don't need that one because then I can able to shoot straight. It's really interesting live tutorial today everyone is like two time with my foil not when you get it your foil chamfer make sure if you get it, it's like a really good with your uh, foil and you keep it properly and then it doesn't chamfer to you if you have the foil like a 
like a clear foil, then probably you get it's like a wrong side. But if you have the side, uh, the foil that you see is the right side, and it does and chanfer, then it means that you might want to check with your uh, LED lamp. Sometimes your LED lamp, it was not full care or it just need to be replaced. You check with that. So then that will not only is working and affecting your chanfer foil gel, it's also is going to be affecting your crystal placements like um, uh, Trifecta as well. But so far, we don't have any issue at all. So great. So I'm going to cure this one for 60 seconds.